Yes, welcome back to another Star Mage tutorial. My name is Bench and today we're looking at some stuff storage. You'd have seen in recent updates that we got the ability to link to multiple storages if we wanted to. We got different ways of filtering now with being able to set all and clear. And we also got the ability to grab a salvage and connect our salvage up to everything else. So I thought let's build a ship and demonstrate how exactly this works. But I thought, well, alright, well we've got so much in here that we could do. Why not build it a little bit bigger? So, we went a little bit bigger. Now, here is my ship. It's called the Harvest. It is fully automated to go and salvage everything, sort everything. It is a monster. Look at it go. It is, um, no one's on there at the moment. It's completely uh, autonomous in this regard. It will salvage with 588 uh, individual salvage beams. It can eat through planets, it can eat through stations, it, it is a monster. And uh, yeah, it's got some really sweet state-of-the-art storage abilities, like being able to filter um, blocks, being able to send stuff all over the place. And so we're going to be showing exactly how we do and uh, create some of that stuff. So let's jump in and look at uh, what we'll be covering in this episode which is the different states of the using logic to tell whether our storage is empty or not empty or full or not full. And uh, we'll go from there. So here we have a storage on either side and we've added a activation module. We've just placed it next to it. It's not hooked up. And we've also got an OR gate. And these are both hooked up to the lights here. So you'll see this one is on. This one is currently completely full. There's no more slots available. This one is completely empty. You can see there. So what I'll do is I'll fly over here and I'll go and I'll grab something out. So now I've taken it out. It's now got space in it and you see our activation module here has lit up. Now if I go over here and I put it in, you'll see there. That one has lit up. Now standard, this one should always be on um, until it is completely full. So if I put it back in here, you'll see it's completely off. If I go in here and pull stuff out again, it'll go off, but if I was to take everything from here and uh, transfer it into this one, we should see then that actually, there we go, this one will go on because it's completely empty, but this OR gate will go off. So we've got the ability to tell whether it is completely empty, whether it's partially empty and partially full, or completely full. So you can see there, I've grabbed everything out of that one. Now if I go the other way and connect it up so that this one pulls stuff out of that one, you'll see that everything gets transferred from there over to there, and the lights will change accordingly. There we go. So they've moved over now. And all the lights update. Now these lights, as you saw earlier, they change according to whether I'm putting stuff in by hand or not as well, which is a recent update as well. So that's how we set up the lights. It's really easy to set up. And uh, a standard setup that I will usually do will involve a storage like so. Then grabbing a, if it's in here, grabbing a OR signal and putting it behind and then putting a light above. And so this lets me know if actually anything is in there. So if I've got it filtering a certain object, I know. Um, now the thing is, while we don't currently have a max stack amount there's no point doing the total full thing if you're going to be filtering just one item so if you're filtering say activation modules um, and it's grabbing activation modules all the time activation modules are only only ever going to hold uh, sit in one slot because they'll just stack up on top of each other it doesn't spread them out so if you're building a sorting facility or a way that you want to filter in and you're filtering um, not enough items for it to actually fill up the entire space in the inventory of this storage, then there's no point doing the activation module. Purely doing an OR module will be fine there. And uh, you can see dropping it in like that, and it works fine. To show you that in a larger scale, we'll fly into the ship here, and you can see here I've got that demonstrated. You've got all the different types that I've listed there, terrain, different 
carve capsules and stuff and you can see just flying around and uh, salvaging a planet or two what sort of shards and stuff I've gotten out of that. I can wander around and see with relative ease I've got lava in there, logic blocks, ship cores and power and stuff you can see. Um, and with this setup with the white light directly above it prevents the blue from flooding over so it's nice and clear it only shows up stuff as well through there so I've got all my holes and glass all broken up as well so um, that's just with the all blocks same as what we demonstrated down here and that's pretty easy to set up um, so that's the different types of light blocks that you can do uh, if you were to uh, do one more style you could take these apart and we'll just go behind here for now and we'll take the ore gate and put it there we'll take the activation module and put it there next we'll grab a not gate and a delay so this is the setup that I'll generally do so this ore gate will feed into an end like so somewhere else you need to have a clock and I think this was a suggestion on the forums as well which was a good idea at the time so we'll put that into a and which then goes into a delay which goes into a knot like so feeds back and there we go there's our clock going and now we can feed the clock into the um, and as well now the other thing we can do is take the activation module put it into a knot and then we'll take both of these and put them into a OR gate. So like that, and like that, and then this will be our light source, like so. So now we've got, um, that would be on, and our, uh, I've got the OR gate there. The OR gate would be on, because we have a bunch of stuff in it. So let's use this storage quickly and to pull everything out. So you'll see it ticks along and it'll grab everything out of there boom like so and you'll see all right now our light is completely off this is completely empty and we've got our OR gate going into the end with the clock connected so that's going to make the light flash and they all go into this OR which controls the light and the other one is the activation module going into a knot going into the OR so you'll see nothing's in there at the moment if something does go in there you see the light is flashing because it indicates that it's only partially full if it was to get completely full, as we will demonstrate now, you'll see it goes from flashing to static. And so that way, oh, I've still got space on, fill, 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 fill. There we go. Now it's static. So that indicates that the thing is completely full now. Uh, there's no more space in it. So um, that's an easy way of putting something together where you're, use, you're utilizing those different options. Uh, that are at your disposal. But that's a simple way of doing light indicators with logic. Uh, there's a bunch of other logic stuff you could probably try and do um, with building like trading hubs and stuff. Uh, but that's the, the basics of how those two integrate with the storage. And um, yeah. Thanks for watching another StarMade video. We release videos every second day, so don't forget to subscribe.